Exactly my question. Allianz Chief Economic Advisor Mohamed Al Arian also on Twitter earlier today saying that the policy response here is unlikely to have much of a durable, beneficial impact. Direct quote. So how much further do policymakers need to go? And is it time for the PBOC to really start getting aggressive here to defend this currency and the economy? Well, I think you know there are two things here. In the first place, you know, the PBOC or the Chinese central Chinese authorities need to make sure that the economic activ activities can be stabilized. So I think you know the property is a key here. That's why you know the policymakers need to provide the supporting measure to, to the post, to the property buyers, especially uh, in the big cities. I think you know uh, it looks like you know especially in like for cities like Shanghai, the property sales has been somehow stabilized. Uh, so I think in continue continue to provide the stimulus, you know, the property or housing market can get some kind of boost from here. And the second thing is here, if the currency or whether currency can be stabilized, I think the most important thing it will be dependent on the uh, economic kind of dynamics uh, in China or fundamentals in China. If the economy can be stabilized, I believe that the currency can uh, will be stabilized at some point. Uh, we still see that the PBOC is able to uh, maintain overall kind of st currency stability uh, from now on, I think, you know, uh, right, of course, you know, the market is questioning whether the currency will be differentiated further from here, but we believe that 7.3 will be the bottom line for the PBOC to defend, uh, especially uh, for the second half of this year. What do you make of the language coming from the Stats Bureau today saying that there's no risk of deflation and that there won't be in the future, so don't say the D word, that CPI will rebound and that they are confident that the economy can recover as some of this stimulus starts to, we start to see the transmission. Um, they don't seem to be so worried. Are we underestimating how much they have a handle on this? Because it doesn't really stack up. It seems to be a bit conflicting with some of the nervousness coming from Beijing, particularly when you look at how worried they seem to be about FDI and also these local governments now sending out teams to the provinces to sort it all out. Well, of course, you know, we do see that, you know, the overall kind of macro picture is relatively challenging uh, in China. And uh, in the meantime, you know, the policymakers try to manage market, market expectations towards a relatively kind of stable uh, economic environment. Uh, but the most important thing here is that, you know, basically, of course, we know that China still have a lot of kind of uh, high frequency data, especially in the housing uh, transactions uh, side. So uh, for the market, we don't really care about, you know, how much the policymakers wants to deliver that's the kind of a policy or that's kind of expecting management skill the most important thing for us is always to look at underlying kind of momentum and high frequency data to gauge uh, the kind of uh, temperature of the economy. And right now, we do see that, you know, uh, the economic activities has been uh, slowing, uh, but hasn't, there's no kind, but there's, of course, in the meantime, there's no big kind of economic slump. Uh, so uh, in the meantime, we do see that the policy uh, support has, uh, has somehow arrived from different kind of aspects. So I think, you know, uh, from this kind of perspective, it's always kind of back and forth stuff, and uh, the market always uh, watch, you know, these kind of policy actions uh, reactions and in the meantime we also look at you know the economic data to see whether this kind of policy has been taking uh, effect uh, so but overall I think you know uh, the bottom line is very clear uh, the Chinese policymakers will, will prevent economic slump and also uh, try to deliver the 5% growth for this year